In the mid-19th century, the French established a foothold in Southeast Asia when they took Cochin, China from Vietnam. And from there, after the Tonkin campaign in the 1880s, they made the rest of Vietnam a protectorate. However, during this campaign, they fought Chinese bandits known as the Black Flags and Chinese regular forces. They were successful and the Chinese had to withdraw all their troops from Vietnam. But the Tien Sin Accords did not specify a date for withdrawal, so the Chinese waited on a formal treaty. So as the French troops approached the new border, the remaining Chinese troops ambushed them in June 1884. The French public was outraged and the Chinese refused to pay indemnities, so a French fleet was sent to Fuzhou in China. And another force was sent to take Formosa, modern day Taiwan in August. But defences on Formosa had been improved and the French soon retreated. While in Fuzhou, the French fired upon Chinese ships, completely destroying their newly created modern fleet. In October, nearly 2,000 men landed on Formosa and this time they successfully took Keelung. But the force was too small to advance further, so they placed a blockade on the island. Meanwhile, on the mainland, the Chinese launched a major offensive into Vietnam. But during the Kep campaign in early October, the French drove them back after fierce successive battles. However, although the French established forward bases, their gunboats were constantly attacked by the Black Flags, and the Chinese often ambushed them on patrol. After one ambush, the French engaged the Black Flags at Yu Ok in November. They successfully defeated them and then went on to sweep through the countryside, clearing it of bandits. The bulk of the French forces were then free to move north and at the beginning of 1885 launched an offensive on Lang Son. But at Tu Yen Quang the French were besieged by a combined Chinese and Black Flag army. The small French garrison held out but they had to wait to be relieved until after the end of the Lang Son campaign. This came the following February when the French crushed the Chinese at Nui Bop and then relieved the besieged soldiers. Meanwhile, the lack of a single command structure in the Chinese military greatly hampered the war effort. For instance, the Northern Fleet refused to aid the Southern Fleet, arguing Japan or Russia could exploit the situation. Plus, more French ships began arriving in the Far East, looking to completely break the Southern Fleet. The Chinese initially fled, but a couple of ships were trapped in Shipu and sank in mid-February. However, French attempts to sink even more ships at Zhenhai in early March were thwarted, when the coastal defences fired upon the French ships. So to bring a speedier end to the war, the French blockaded the Yangtze River, hoping to bring about a rice shortage and disrupt the economy. But in Vietnam, despite being pressured by the governments to invade southern China, the French just lacked the men to do so. So reinforcements were sent to the region and in late March, they attacked the Chinese fortifications along the border. But the 1,500 French troops were driven back by the Chinese from their well-defended positions and pursued back to Lang Son. The French successfully defended Lang Son, inflicting heavy casualties upon the Chinese. But the new French commander, Herbinger, still decided to order a general retreat, abandoning a great deal of ammunition and weapons. Those further south in Vietnam believed this retreat signaled the coming of a larger Chinese force and telegrammed a pessimistic view of the situation to Paris. The French meanwhile were having more success in Formosa as they captured the Pescadores Islands, but by this point the telegram had been made public. The following public outcry was so bad that Jules Ferry was forced to resign and his successor Henri Bresson quickly made peace with China. Although Vietnam would remain a French protectorate, no further concessions were made, and France had to spend the following decades pacifying Tonkin, finally eliminating the black flags and Vietnamese insurgency. 